Welcome to video number one in this series titled Configuring Windows Server 2008 Services. The title of this video uh, is the virtual machine layout. The objectives of this video are basically to understand the virtual machine layout, to understand the concept of virtualization, to select the appropriate virtualization software uh, for the purpose of simulating our test, our test environment. I'm your host once again, Simukai Musio from Vasti College, Pretoria, on behalf of the Independent Institute of, of Education. I will take you back. I will take you back to a previous uh, to a previous slide whereby we looked at the uh, the overview of what we are trying to achieve in this video series. Okay, whereby we said that we are testing the capabilities of Windows Server 2008 in an enterprise size environment uh, with Windows 7 clients. It's one thing that I definitely want you to do in the duration of this. Uh, video uh, picture this this network as a big enterprise organization okay with a lot of servers and a lot of clients yes uh, in my virtual solution I'll be using a very uh, a single server and probably two clients but this applies uh, to a network that scales to many many computers this slide represents the virtual machine layout as you can see we'll be using three virtual machines we're going to name our main virtual machine DC01, which will be running our Windows Server 2008, and we'll have two clients running Windows 7. On DC01, we are initially going to configure Active Directory, DNS, DHCP, and WDS, and we'll be working on a Class C network of 192.168.0.0 with a mask of slash 24. And as you can see, they will be connected together by a virtual switch. I'm going to show you the, the tricks and uh, the tweaks you have to perform in VirtualBox to achieve that. I have been talking about virtualization, hoping that you do understand the concept, and you can see there's our sandbox test environment that we'll be using to test uh, the capabilities of Windows Server 2008. We are going to create this virtual network inside a physical host machine. Um, the only prerequisites are that your physical host machine has enough physical RAM, hard drive space, and processing power uh, to run at least three virtual machines. I'll assume that you've at least four gig of memory running in your physical machine. Our virtualization so software of choice will be Oracle Virtual Box. It's a free downloadable software uh, which is sufficient enough for our purposes. Uh, so we'll be using virtual, uh, Oracle Virtual Box as our virtualization software. There are other virtualization softwares out there like Windows Server Hyper-V, uh, VMware Virtual PC, okay? But uh, basically they all perform the same the same function. Take note of the licensing requirements of enterprise products like Windows Server, Hyper-V and VMware. That's it for this video. I'll see you in the next video where we do the actual setup of virtual machines. I hope you enjoyed and thank you for watching.